Photoshop 2025 beta is bringing back the good old 3D settings into Photoshop, but it's not what you think. Okay, so I'm in Photoshop beta and I'm gonna start with this already made poster. Now make sure to scale down the poster a little bit more so you're gonna have an easier job rendering in 3D. Okay, so you might be asking, where are the 3D tools? How do you do that? Well, the truth is you're gonna need to create that 3D something into a 3D software. So for example, you can create something in Adobe Substance or Adobe Illustrator or Dimension and then import into Photoshop to customize it. So for example, I'm gonna go into Illustrator and I get this vector shape as a reference. I gotta go to 3D materials and I'm gonna inflate it. And pretty much here you can see the 3D shape. And the next step is export it as an OBJ file. So I'm going to go and change it to OBJ and export it. Now we're going to drag and drop the OBJ file into Photoshop. And here we got it. And check this out. We got some new things going on. If you go to the properties, you can go to edit content or you can go and double click on the thumbnail of this 3D layer. And it's going to open up the smart object in a brand new app, which has got the Substance 3D Viewer. And here's how you can install Substance 3D Viewer. Go to Creative Cloud Desktop. Go to the left menu and go all the way down to the beta apps, click on it. And here you can see all the beta apps and search for Substance 3D Viewer Beta and click on install. So here we got the 3D object and I'm going to scale it up and check this out. If you scroll, it is going to zoom in on the 3D object or if you press and hold the right mouse button, it is going to orbit the object into the space. And if you press and hold the scroll on the mouse, you can position this 3D object. All right, so we can do a couple of things here. We can go to the colors and we got this tab here. We can go down here. We got the material presets, click on it, and it's going to open up the materials. So check this out. We got a couple of uh, basic materials. I'm going to drag and drop the gold, for example, on this circle. And it's going to ask if I want to apply it on all objects, but I don't want that. I'm going to go with a plastic glossy, just drag and drop on the eye. And I'm going to select the eye. And then here on the left menu, we've got the settings of that plastic material. I'm going to go to the color, change it up. And I want to copy paste this customized material on the other elements as well. So I'm going to go here to the three dots and click on copy material. And now I'm going to select the other eye. And here we've got the material number three. I'm going to click on the three dots and paste material. You can also go and activate the ray tracing right here. And this way is going to render it as realistic as possible. The reflections on the materials are not the best. So we're going to go here to the light. And here you can customize the rotation of the environment light. Or you can go to the light presets and change it. This is for example the studio. You can go with the exterior HDRI and then customize it however you like. But anyways after you are done you can go up here to the corner and click on to Photoshop. And this is going to send the updates to the Photoshop poster and voila. Now I'm going to import a more complex already made object file into Photoshop, which is basically the Iron Man helmet. So let's test this out how it's going to look, edit contents. And here we go again. I'm going to scale this up, go to materials, material presets, and check this out. If I'm going to drag it, it is going to apply it on separate places, which is really cool. And I downloaded this asset from cgtrader.com. I also going to leave a link in the description so you can get it for free. And then I can also apply the same exact plastic material with the gloss, select it and change it to magenta. I also going to copy paste it to other materials. And I'm going to go to the environment lights and test out the ground plane. Now here it actually applied the shading quite successfully. Go back to Photoshop and scale it back to normal. And pretty much this is how you can work with 3D into the latest Photoshop 2025 beta. Thanks for watching.